Hello there everyone and welcome. I'm Jeff Moore with Bedford Camera and Video. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we are very excited to show you a product from Atomos. Uh, now a lot of photographers out there, a lot of videographers might be a little familiar with Atomos products. They are one of the leading manufacturers of external recording devices. They also double as a external monitor. Now problem is of course is with full HD that is uh, that, you know sweeping the market for videography a lot of folks want to dive into 4K. Now the Shogun from Atomos uh, is one of those devices to help a lot of those uh, videographers get into that 4K arena. So this webisode we are going to open up the case, we are going to show you what you get with the uh, Atomos Shogun product. Other uh, webisodes that will be coming we will show you how to set up the device to your camera as well as show you some of the functions. So hey, let's dive right into it, okay? Now, one of the first things that impressed me was how the Shogun was delivered. When it came to the store, uh, they just handed me this little hard case and say, hey, here you go. And I'm like, well, it, it's actually in here. This, this is definitely a nice case. It, to me, that shows the company definitely has a value in their product. So uh, looking into this, I opened it up. And of course, first thing you see is, of course, is you have the case. You get the seven inch monitor right here in the upper corner. And there are also four caddies. Now these caddies is what houses the uh, hard disk drives as well as the solid state drives and you see that you have four of them here. Now there is a fifth one that is just on the other side of this monitor. When you remove the monitor it'll be on the back end of that. And you also have uh, you know cutout compartments, custom cutout compartments. Two of them of course is what looks like for the battery. You do get one rechargeable battery as well as one power adapter. There are also cutouts of the same size, so you can actually house additional batteries to use for the back of the monitor or the new power adapter that is going to be coming on the market soon. Now, the new power adapter, which is what you would house here, is designed to house two batteries as opposed to just one on the back of the monitor. So, you can actually have three batteries powering the device. Powering, yes, I'll try to say that right. Three batteries to help power the device similar to having a vertical grip for your digital SLR. Now just below the four caddies you see another cutout compartment that is designed for a device called the RAID. The RAID is a new device that will be coming out to house two of the hard disk or solid state drives into one caddy department. So I definitely think that is a, a smart idea for that. But this is just the first layer. There's a second layer underneath this so let's just dive right into there, okay? Alright, so we remove the first layer there and within the second layer of course you'll see the quick start guide as well as instructions on how to register your device. You get a three year warranty on that from Atomos and you have just about everything needed to make this device function. Basically how to get power to it. So there is a charging device for the batteries as well as a separate power adapter for the monitor itself. Now power adapter of course you plug it directly into a um, you know standard plug-in but if you travel, go overseas, there's different plugins. Well, not to worry, there are separate plug-in adapters that they have placed inside the lower compartment just to kind of help you with that problem you might run into. Now, on top of just the caddies, you also have what's called a master caddy, which is very, very similar to a card reading device. Plug it in through USB, slide the caddy in with the uh, hard disk or the solid state, and then that allows you to download the footage directly into your computer. Now, Atomos also has not spared any expense to make sure you capture great audio. They have a uh, plug-in device called a Limo XLR connection that has phantom power capability as well as input in and input out through an XL connection. So you can actually connect two XL inputs into this adapter, into the monitor as you're uh, making your recording. And there you have it, all the devices needed in order to get your Shogun up and running. And again, as a reminder, make sure you stay tuned for future webisodes as far as showing you how to connect your device to your camera and also the operations of the device for your recording. So until that, I'm Jeff Moore with Bedford Camera and Video. Make sure you like us on Facebook as well as if you have any questions, make sure you can contact us at bedfords.com.